Welcome to the Modern Hip Hop Channel in 95.3. This is Go Radio. I have a new friend on the inside. See, this is all about new friends, new fam, new listeners, new supporters, new energy out here in the Twin Cities. Got my man Dizzy right on the inside. Blessings. Man, you are here. I'm here, brother. You on tour with Logic right now? It's amazing. You had a lot of cool things in your career. You've worked with a lot of amazing artists. You're an amazing artist. Thank you. Um, your story's great. If somebody doesn't know who Dizzy Wright is, how would you explain this to somebody, man? Um, I'm a I'm a father. I'm a father slash rapper. It's a beautiful thing. 25 years old from Las Vegas. Yeah, uh, man. I was born in Flint, Michigan, raised in Las Vegas. Uh, I just been holding it down for the city. Um, going on 20 years now. It's <laughs> a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. How old is your child? She will be five in April. I have an 18 month old. It's amazing. She is everything bro it's like you know it changes you as a person it does in the best ways but 18 yeah. months to four years old it's a beautiful journey i am so into it right now oh man you're gonna love it yo and i you know i get up with her in the morning we do a little mickey mouse clubhouse yeah. you know what i mean palling around and you know, it's a cool break from this like rap life you know the cool thing about having a daughter is every woman has to love a man first and that man should be their father and long as they can install that love in their daughter, then you know you always gonna get that love in return. Right, right. It's an amazing feeling, bro. Yeah, that's that's really cool, man. Do you yeah. find it hard sometimes to connect with her when you're on the road, and or do you get on Facetime? How do you do it? Yeah, Facetime is. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's that, great. It changed the game. It's great. Facetime really did change the game. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know what the game was like before Facetime, so I can't. It was tough. Yeah, it was I'm probably sure it, was it was probably, probably tough different for artists, especially. I feel like I'm there sometimes, a lot of times. You know, my fiance yeah. keeps me really involved, and um, yeah. We got this thing that we do called the Good Dad Gang, and okay. uh, we all kind of it's all like hip hop cats and industry guys that kind of band together. My man Terminology out in uh, Boston started it, the okay. Good Dad Gang. Good Dad Gang. You're on him to remember. No, you you're in. <laughs> I'm I'm co-signing you. Dizzy's in. I'm in. Hashtag Good, good dad, dad Gang. gang. We <laughs> look, look at my little shorty. She came to the station. Bam. That's dope. Said, get out of the way, B. <laughs> I'm firing off the board, dog. Look, That's she's dope. doing it. You That's know what I mean? Dope. She's right here doing it. Um. Talk about your music. Your style is really cool. I kind of think of you like in that kind of Wiz Khalifa currency kind of smokers lane. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know yeah. you partake. I can. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm. I don't. Is that backwards? I'm not quite yeah. sure. You know <laughs> Yo, it, it's not good though. You know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I had to get it in before I came up here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's but lit. yeah, man. Um, my music. I'm a realist. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah. Um, I kind of started out as a poet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and just putting the you know the poetry over the beats and stuff like that. Right. But um, yeah, the smoker like uh real life um yeah realistic music. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, yeah. um, I'm kind of like um, I just like to tell the truth. I like to talk about things that I know about, things that I've seen, or yeah, stories yeah, yeah, that yeah. I'm aware about, and um, you know, things that I could really speak on. Right. I feel like when I when I hear you, when I see you, when I look at the pictures on the gram and I hear the music, I feel like you're an artist more than you're like a rapper. Right. Thank you. I, I feel like there's a creative process involved and you're yeah. very expressive and unique with your style. And, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with being a rapper. Yeah, but, absolutely. But you happen to be an artist that raps. Yes. And I see that. I, I connect with that when I see that. Um, right. You work with some amazing guys. You're on tour with Logic, who's... Super special, yeah. definitely a unique character. Absolutely. You work with my man Joey Badass. Yes, sir. You rock with the kid Bishop Naru, yes, who's sir. very hot to me. Like yeah. on and signing Nas's thing, but he's like, yeah, I love that kid, man. Yeah, he's awesome. That kind of boom bap new wave for the young kids yes, is sir. very very dope. Yes, sir. That's what I came up on. Word. I'm kind of like a young OG, and I came up in the '90s, and that was the sound that inspired me. So it's amazing to see 20 years later, this kind of coming back around again. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The way we dress, the style. I was so glad when the jerseys came with the hoodies underneath again. Yeah. I was like, that was my way, though. <laughs> oh, know? word. Yeah. yeah, and now I'm back on it. Yeah. You know, and I was like, it's cool. It's like you see the cycles, you know what I mean? What yeah. can you what can you say about I don't know, hip hop today that inspires you? Um, well, coming from Vegas, uh everything kind of inspired us cuz like everybody comes to Vegas and you get like that little taste of everybody. Um, but growing up, you weren't really old enough to see any of that, so you were kind of inspired by everything, you know, um, literally. So now everything inspires me. Still, life From in Cole general. Cole to the Kendricks to the Kanye West rants to amazing all the shit. You know, I take bits and pieces from everything and just learn from it. And um, yeah, 
Yeah, that's why I still feel like I'm finding my style and putting the pieces together yeah. for my puzzle. I can see it. Um, because I have so much fun with everything. You yeah. know what I mean? I just enjoy what I do. It's a great thing, man. Um, how did you connect with Hobson, who's a very unique guy? I, I remember a couple of years ago when he was like, I quit. And yeah. he was going to Australia. Yeah. Then he came in sneak attack. He came back. Yeah. I was like, he's not going to stay away for that long. Yeah. Like, he, everybody need a break, though. Yeah, nah, he wasn't even really going to quit. He just told me, like, he hit me. He was like, yo, I'm about to troll my fans <laughs> and tell them that I, I moved to Australia. And uh, It was at the airport. He, like, looked mad regular. Yeah. no contact. That's because he had a girl. He has a girlfriend. Right. His girlfriend lives in um, Australia. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he was just, he got a lot of love in Australia. So, you know, he was just yeah. trolling his fans out here. It, but everybody took it so serious. It went Dead like. Ass. Yeah, it went like. Way further than I think he even thought it was gonna go. Right. Like because then the rumor got out that he was like done with rap, and then so when he was ready to come out with an album, everybody was kind of like, "I thought you were done with rap," because some people yeah. didn't get the joke. Right, so right, um, right, right. it went over a lot of people's heads. But I met Hobson back in um, 2011 through Dame, who's still my manager. Yeah. Um, and uh. Yeah, I was doing, Dame came out and seen me do like this little competition, Chic, the shoe company Chic, mm -hmm. and Def Jam um, put together like a little competition where they went around to a few different cities and picked like three or four people from each city. Yeah. And then brought everybody to California, and then there was like this big competition, and one person won, and I won that shit, and Dame yeah. was there, and... um. You know, he was telling me about, uh, he was telling my peoples about, you know, Hobson and what he had going on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Hobson ended up bringing me out to do a show with him. And then it's just, it was on from there. Yeah, it was lit. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, he's a very unique guy. I think he, like, uh, maintains a cool space in hip-hop. Right. We need people like that. Mm -hmm. We need the unique guys. It's cool to see the complimentary players, too, like you, that kind of, like, fit in. And, and not everybody's as eclectic as Hobson. Exactly. But we need those guys, man. We need them unique people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, he's creative. I agree. I yeah, agree. I, I love it. I love what he does, man. Talk about being on tour with Logic and what this is like. I know he's a very unique cat as well. Yeah, uh, it's... Life changing, man. Uh, Logic is so humble and his energy is so incredible. Like, uh, you know, he is who, you know, he is that person that he speaks about. He is striving to be yeah. um, great for himself, you yeah. know, and that energy feeds off on everybody. His yeah. whole crew, you know, his whole crew is just like, the energy is the same. It trickles down from his tour managers to like sometimes, you know, you go on tour with people and you got those people who are dickheads. Yeah, of course. And those people who be stressing out. Of course. Uh, those people who might be a little aggressive when they get drunk. Or yeah, yeah. A little. His people are always the same, but they're always having so much fun. It's great. And that's what, that's the type of stuff you have to learn from in this industry. Like you have to, you don't have to keep people around you just because they're that certain person to you, you have to make sure they have to fall in line. They have to be the right person. They have to be the right person, you know? So you can't just, you want to keep the right people around you so that energy stays the same, and then, you know, even if you're not feeling it, you know, it's still there. Yeah. So um, I've been doing, I've been doing that for so long without telling anybody. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, it's kind of mm, okay, and move you out, bring you in. Exactly. Like, this, like yeah, I've been test like, it out, yeah. Yo, yeah. You know, I brought some homies out to drive for me. Yeah. You know, I brought some homies out to do merch or to be my assistant. 100%. And it's always cool, but, you know, it's a it's a hassle if that's not what, you know, they're destined to do. You're 100%. just kind of putting them in a position. 100%. But you, you switch people out and you install the energy where, and now my team is strong, just like Logic's team, but Solid. we're just inspired by how they're operating on this level. Definitely. I really feel like Logic is a, a master of his craft. Oh, absolutely. He's attention to detail. I, when I hear the records, when I see the performances, when I saw the rollout for the album, I was like, this guy's evolving, and he's really mastering. And you know what? It's more than just mastering the craft. It's finding yourself. It's knowing yourself. Not trying to be the next man. Yeah. Knowing yourself, knowing... What makes you happy? What makes you free? What you know? What's important in life? People uh, want money before they want to know what's important in life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, 
you got to know what's important. You got to know what's what to value before you even get money. Yeah. Though. So when you get that shit, you know what I mean? It can ruin your life. It can ruin you, you know? Yeah. But then you got people like Logic who he knows himself. So, he know he know, he's like I'm a nerd. I love the Rubik's cube, and and so do the girls. Hey, that's, that's what it some, is. Yo, that's ill. And it's when Ill. I saw him freestyling and doing the Rubik's cube at the same time, I was yeah. like, this boy's special. Blindfolded. Yo, <laughs> I was like, yo, blindfolded. I, it would take, I couldn't do it in a month. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not a dumb guy. Yeah. Like this kid, I was like, yo, that's why I'm saying I didn't want to dwell on the other artists, but I was yeah. like, I know you're with them. I oh no, that's different. my brother, man. I'm yeah. I'm really out here to support Logic. Yeah, and, it's and amazing his journey. You know what I mean, yeah, we were on a double XL cover together, right? Right, and right. I knew then he was special, he had the energy then. That yeah. was this was three years ago, yeah, you know what I mean. And we just talked about s something like this, you know what I mean. Yeah. And no, nah, hell yeah, what I'm a just, cool thing! I'm so like, happy to be out here with him and, yeah. and be on this journey with him and watch him do this because, yeah. You know, it's not easy. No, no. None of this entertainment game is what people think it is. Right. It's much different, and there's so much giving involved. I think as a rapper, too, yeah. you can really, you give so much more than you receive. Exactly. You, you may get, yeah, you get a little tour. Yeah, you get some money. Yeah, you get some fans. But the amount of energy and thought and, and the life commitment that goes into being a professional entertainer, yeah. it's, it is, it's a life commitment. Yeah, absolutely. What's the biggest difference between Dizzy Wright now and you, before it started as a regular person, just a guy wanting to be in this, what, what's changed in your personal life? Um, The kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, definitely the kids. Uh, my I have a son, too. I have a daughter. My daughter's four. My son is one. Oh, it's um, great. One is sick. Dude. Yeah. I met my fiance in high school, though. That's she amazing. knew. Yeah, she knew me before yeah. any of this popped off as Perfect. well. But... I think the biggest thing that um, that's probably changed is just um, um, learning how to deal with money. Yeah, you know I mean, learning yeah. how to. I think um, I'm so glad I didn't get a million dollars when I first started out. Oh my god! I heard the stories, man. You know I mean, dude's blowing everything. Because when you're broke, you don't know how to use. You don't Trust know how me. to Trust spend me. money. You don't know how to save it. You think you're saving it, but you're not really saving no. it. 800 pairs of sneakers ain't saving money, man. Yeah, like, exactly. I, I blew all my original radio money when I first got in because I went $12,000 one year, $13,000 the other yeah. year. Then I go to seventy five, And you're like, go to the mall, baby. Yeah, you I just, get everything. You think the money's just going to continue. No, no. You got to yeah. stack and save and invest. Yeah, balance. Balance, man. From, you know what I mean? From me being 18 to being 25, I just learned how to balance things. You don't gotta be perfect at nothing. Nah, you know what I mean, never. You want to be great. You want to be a master of your craft. Though. That's it, you though. find your craft, you be a master of your craft. Yeah. But you don't gotta be perfect at nothing. You just gotta find balance and know how to maintain. You know what I mean? I'm really, really impressed when I asked you who you were, and the first thing you said was a father. That is amazing. That's the first thing. That's, That's first. the most important thing. That's the most important. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Dizzy Wright, we here, man. Check this man out. If you want to want to see the music, you want to see the movement, you want to connect with this man, how can they get at you on social media? Yo, um, Dizzy Wright, <laughs> right with a W. Um, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, yeah. My Instagram's Dizzy Hippie, Hippie with a Y. Um, WisdomandGoodVibes.com if you want to check out the music. Uh, yeah, man, just get, just, you know, be a part of what we got going on. Yo, you're definitely a hippie, though. I it's am. In, it's in the air. It's in there. I thought it was laundry day. I didn't know it was really <laughs> Yo, yeah. good, though. Check him out, man. Dizzy Wright. We here at Twin Cities. Go radio.